It's the weekend and you're feeling lazy. You don't feel like seeing anyone. No need to shower, right? Well, this might be fine in the short term, but could your body handle a whole year without showering? What awful things would happen to your skin? This is your body on no showers for a year. Most people shower to keep clean and smell nice. It's showing free. But David Whitlock, an American chemical engineer, hasn't showered for more than 15 years. I have no plans to, to, to bathe. Huh, he looks okay to me. He smelled totally fine. Yeah. He has developed a spray that preserves the good bacteria on the skin. It breaks down ammonia, which is the compound that makes sweat smell bad. Stinky! But for this challenge, no sprays, pool dips, or sink splashing is allowed. It's just you and your body's bacteria for a whole year. Dirty hoe. Speaking of which, can you guess which area of the body has the most bacteria? Your armpit? Your belly button? <laughs> your butt? Stick around, we'll find out later in this episode. I'm so freaking excited! The first few days would be bearable. You wouldn't smell too much. Good, not great. Well, it depends on how active you've been. <laughs> you might feel dirty. I'm a filthy boy. But showering every day is unnecessary, according to public health professionals. I mean, at the very least, you'd save an average of eight minutes per day not showering, or more if you like to soak it up. Okay, regardless of how much deodorant or perfume you use, you'd smell after 10 days. Oh, you are right. People would start to notice your aroma. Ugh. Stink. As days go by, you'd feel isolated. I smell so bad, I'm convulsing people. But thanks to the internet, you could order food <laughs> or call your friends, and they'd never know. Laugh out loud. Even though you need to stay active, you may not want to sweat too much. Sweat itself doesn't smell. The odor from your armpits, breasts, or genital area is from bacteria feeding off fatty acids and proteins in your perspiration. So the less you shower, the more bacteria would accumulate and the more you would smell. Crazy world, a lot of smells. As the months go on, you get used to feeling filthy. I stink bad. Yeah, you stink real bad. Your skin would get infected with fungus and bacteria. The oily parts of your body, like your neck, underarms, or behind your ears, would collect dirt and pollutants. You got yourself a little something there. Just leave it. If you haven't already, you may see acne breakouts on your face and other areas of your body, like your arms. And there could be red patches on your skin. I believe I'm bringing sexy back. Three months later, and you're starting to fester. Such an intoxicating scent. If you accidentally cut yourself, you'd likely get a soft tissue infection because of the buildup of bacteria on your skin. Dangerous bacteria, like Staphylococcus, could be living on your skin. If it got into your bloodstream, it could lead to septic shock that could kill you. So I'd avoid any sharp objects if I were you. Okay, it's been half a year, and you just can't stop dreaming about showers. Just another six months of stink to go. No! No! The outer layer of your skin would start to thicken in a process called hyperkeratosis. All the dirt on your body would cause warty growths and patches of dry or dead skin and you might have an itchy scalp due to dandruff in your greasy, matted hair. 
Ah, uh, gross. Okay, not only is your scalp itchy, but now your groin is too. Your poor balls. You'd likely have intertrigo, a rash that feeds off the moisture between the folds of your skin. It would itch and burn. Burn it itching, burn it itching. Dead skin would build up between your toes and become crusty. Yummy. Oh, and don't touch your belly button. It's usually the dirtiest part of your body. A 2012 study from the Public Library of Science found 2,368 species of bacteria nestled in navels. So imagine how many bacteria there would be after soap dodging for eight months. Yeah. After one year, you'd have stratum corneum, or dead skin, on top of your skin. It would include a protein skin produces that has a funky odor. You smell funny. Your hair would be completely matted. Ugh. And you'd smell like a rotting corpse. Okay, luckily, your challenge is over. Thank you, God. It's gonna take weeks for your skin to return to its normal state. I've had a very long, hard day. But you might have an even bigger problem on your hands. Like an infestation of body lice. Ooh. Well, that sounds like a problem for another episode of Your Body On.